Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I am going to discuss about rectangle method for the ellipse. So basically there are different methods for the ellipse. In the previous video we have discussed about the concentric circle method. Now it's done for the rectangle method. That is sometimes known as the oblong method also. So let's see first of all the description of the given problem. Draw an engineering curve by rectangle method for major axis and minor axis are 100 mm and 75 mm respectively. Give the name of the curve also true normal and tangent at any point on the curve. So here intentionally I have used this different color because of this is our objective in the problem. This is the name of the method mentioned in your description. So at that time you have to follow this particular method only. If it is not mentioned in the description, then you can follow any suitable method for the ellipse. One more thing, here give the name of the curve. So by default you can understand if the major axis and minor axis are given to you, then definitely you will get the ellipse. It is like this. Here this is the major axis and this one is the minor axis. And at last we are going to draw the normal and tangent also. So first of all draw the horizontal line which represent as a major axis and that is given to you as 100 mm. So draw the horizontal line here you can see 100 mm. Give the name as AB. Now mark the midpoint of this AB line and give the name as O. Now draw the vertical line passing through this point O. And that is exactly equal to the minor axis 75 mm. Here keep in mind that this AB is actually bisector of this vertical line. That means the total length of this vertical line is 75 mm. So it should be 75 mm by 2 and this distance should be 75 mm by 2. Now give the name as C and D. Now look at here. It is mentioned over here rectangle method. So you have to draw the rectangle which is passing through this A, B, C and D. So very simple you can use the roller scale to draw the parallel line so that you will get the perfect ellipse. Now divide this distance into the equal parts or you can say equal divisions. Here I have divided it into the four equal divisions but you can divide it four, five or six equal divisions. Now give the name as 1, 2, 3. Similarly on this side, divide it into the 4 equal division. Give the name as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. Now divide this distance into the 4 equal parts. Because of you have divided it into the 4 equal parts. So it must be 4 equal parts. If you divide it into the 5 equal parts, then it should be 5 equal parts. Now give the number as 1, 2, 3. So now keep in mind that here from this point it is actually in the ascending order and from here also you can see it is in the ascending order. So take care to give the name of the point. Similarly here also you can do. So once again B is the reference point and from here it is in ascending order and from here it is in ascending order. Now join C1 C2, C3 with the help of the scale. Similarly on this side. Now join D1 and extend it up to C1. So you can mark over here the intersection point as P1. So it is very simple. P1 is the intersection of C1 and D1. Now can you imagine my dear friend what should be the next step? Yes, it is very simple. Join D2 and extend it up to C2. So you will get the P2 point over here. Next join D3 and extend it. So you will get P3 point. Similarly on this side. So you will get P1 dash, P2 dash and P3 dash. Now join all the points by the smooth curve. So keep in mind that once again, 
your smooth curve must be passed from the A, C and B also because of these are actually the vertices of the ellipse. So here actually half portion of the ellipse only. Similarly, you can complete the lower portion of the ellipse, but it will consume much more time in the examination. So you can follow in the examination the shortcut method and so that you can save the time. So look at the shortcut method. Draw the vertical line passing through all these P1, P2, P3. Similarly over here P3 dash, P2 dash and P1 dash. Take initially the length of this vertical line randomly. Now take the compass and take this is as a center and radius equal to this distance. Draw the arc on the lower side of this AB and so that you will get P1 here. Similarly, set the radius of the compass from here to here. Take this as a center, draw the arc on this side so that you will get the corresponding P2 point. Similarly, now you can imagine the P3 here it is P3, P2 and P1. Now join all the points by the smooth curve. So this is your ellipse. So, so far we have completed the engineering curve by the rectangle method. So very simple you can remember the name of the method. Here we have initially drawn the rectangle that's why it is called as the rectangle method. Give the name of the curve so you can say it is the ellipse. Next, also true normal and tangent at any point on the curve. So here you can assume at any point, let's say it is the S point where I want to draw the normal and tangent. So keep in mind that to draw the normal and tangent in case of ellipse, you have to identify the location of the F1 and F2. And it is very simple. You have to set the radius of the compass from O to B. That is actually half of the major axis and here you can see major axis is 100 mm so it is 50 mm. Now take C as the center draw the arc on this major axis that means on the AB line so that you will get F1 and F2 over here you can see. So now it is very simple join SF1 join SF2 now draw the bisector of this angle F1 as F2 that means this angle that will give you normal. So keep in mind that normal is actually the bisector of this angle and that you can do with the help of the protector. Now perpendicular to this normal that will give you as a tangent and that you can do with the help of the scale also match the long line of the scale with this normal line here you can see so automatically it will give you the perpendicular line to this normal and that is your tangent now let's see the question how much time does it take to complete this drawing try to draw the same drawing with the help of the instrument in your sketchbook and write your answer in the comment box here the very important point in the examination only ellipse normal and tangent should be the dark the remaining portion should be as light as possible thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it